You are listening to the Namibians audio recording. Um, good day, everybody. My name is Lazarus Ankeshe. And today I'm joined by Eloise Duplessis. Eloise is the head of research at PSG Namibia. Eloise, we want to talk about what happened um, at the MPC announcement. Um, just maybe briefly tell us what happened. To- yes, maybe we should first talk about what the MPC of the Bank of Namibia is. That's the committee within the bank that determines what the interest rates in the country are set at. Mm -hmm. So they set the repo rate and then the prime rates and all the other rates in the economy follow from that. So if this rate goes up and you pay a higher interest rate on your mortgage and your car loan and your furniture Mm -hmm. loans, and if it uh, goes down, then the the opposite happens. So you, you will then you will pay less. Mm -hmm. So what happened today Mm -hmm. was that the Bank of Namibia kept the rate at 3.75%, which is the lowest Mm -hmm. level that it has been historically. Uh, Mm -hmm. They noted that economic activity declined considerably in 2020, and that contributed to lower inflation and lower private sector extension growth. Uh, But but the level of foreign currency reserves remain adequate, and they estimate that the economy contracted by 7.3% last year. We have a slightly worse expectation than than that. Um, They do think real GDP growth will bounce back to 2.6% in 2021. Mm -hmm. And they also think that the average inflation rate will rise to 3% average, um, where it was a 2.2 average in 2020. Okay, Um, I think, I think the, the question is still, what does this mean um, in general for um, the Namibian economy and also just for the one-to-one peg that we've maintained in South Africa? Yes, yeah, so the level of foreign currency reserves was at 34.4 billion at the end of January, and yeah. that gives us 5.3 mm-hmm. months of import cover. Now, mm-hmm. the, the central bank mm-hmm. says that this level is sufficient to protect, protect the Namibian dollars one to one pick to the RAND, yeah. and the country can mm-hmm. meet its financial obligations. Mm-hmm. Now, if you look at the economy, uh, global sentiment has improved because yeah. we've seen yeah. that the developed nations really cut their interest rates to very low levels and they've given a lot of support to their economies. Yeah. Um, and they've also mm-hmm. started distributing the COVID 19 vaccine. But there are still major risks because of all these additional waves of COVID-19 and the different variants. So we'll have to see whether there's uh, going to be any difference with the vaccines and whether that can improve that look for the global economy. Okay. Um, so what is your outlook specifically? What, what do you think we should expect um, for the rest of the year? I think in the short run and also just towards the very end of the year. Do you think rates are going to change anytime soon? Well, the rate is now at a record low, but it is still 25 basis points above the South African rate. And we may have mm-hmm. seen the end of this cutting cycle for yeah. Namibia because mm-hmm. the South African Reserve Bank didn't cut at their latest policy meeting, yeah. even though they have mm-hmm. quite weak economic growth and inflation over there. Mm-hmm. And by keeping this 25 basis point buffer, we try to keep more money in Namibia to mm-hmm. earn interest here than seeing it uh, flow out to South Africa. But that does still leave scope for mm-hmm. another cut mm-hmm. if we do need it. We think that interest rates will remain unchanged for the rest of the year. Yeah. But if mm-hmm. we don't see an economic recovery, then there is the possibility that they will still cut it to come uh, back on par with the South African equivalent. That is not our base case. Mm-hmm. Our base case is that interest rates will remain at these levels for the rest of the year. Yes, and that was Eloise Duplessis, the research at PSG Namibia, bringing us her analysis on the MPC announcement. This announced. Thank you for listening, and do subscribe to the Namibian YouTube channel.